1962, Moscow. Franklin North and his son Danny were invited to the Imperial Moscow University to report on a new discovery. After North finds himself in the wrong place, he is taken to a concrete room with only a set of chairs and a metal table. The room is cold as ice and damp as if true, with a strange man standing in front of him as he switches on a tape recorder. This is Captain Leonid Isolov, attached to the Special Investigations cadre of the Moscow District MVD. In the room with us is Franklin Knorr, an American citizen, Mr. Knorr. Please confirm your identity for the recorder. <sighs> I am Franklin Norris, a citizen of the United States. Thank you. North considered Isolov to be in his late 30s or early 40s. He could be judged, North felt, to be ruggedly good-looking and it seemed that he kept himself physically fit. The man had the bearing of an ex-soldier. North suspected that he was, in fact, KGB, not MDB though it didn't make a lot of difference at the end of the day. Where's my son, and why are you keeping us here? Your son is close by, and is perfectly safe, Mr. Knorr. As to why you are being detained, you left an official tour of the university and were found in the laboratory of Professor Chernov. The professor is currently working on a project for the Soviet government, hence our interest in you. Well, I didn't know that. It wasn't as though I could see anything. The professor there. has been working on some sensitive formula in the blackboard. An unfortunate habit of this, I'm given to understand. Well, it didn't mean anything to me. You are a science correspondent, are you not? I am, and that's because my science degree was nowhere near good enough to get me a job in research. There's no way I could make any sense of those hieroglyphics. Did you have a camera on you? Did you take any photographs? No. You'll be able to see that for yourselves when the film gets developed. We shall indeed. Why did you leave the official tour? To look for my son, Danny. You wandered off? Yeah, he has a habit of doing that. He is easily distracted. In this case, it was um, a diorama of depicting dinosaurs in the Jurassic period. And the professor's laboratory? What was the distraction there? My son needed the bathroom. We were looking for one when he saw the door of the laboratory and mistook it for what he was looking for. He rushed in before I could stop him. <laughs> I shall enjoy telling Professor Chernoff that his laboratory was mistaken for a laboratory. 